Hey guys, so today we're building a little trap base. Uh, it's quite easy to set up and you can get it set up really early in the white. To start with, all you're going to need is your shotgun trap. So, let me just show you how to do it. So, first of all, we're going to find a little rock cropping like this. And we'll build the first foundation little bit into it not too far but just a little bit in triangles around and then a little foundation so really easy footprint and Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. We'll take this out. And this will be the pit that the trap person falls into. There we go. Open the door inward. And Now you're secure to be able to set up the rest of it easily without uh, any distractions. Place the TC back in this corner. Doesn't matter how you do it, uh, depending on if you're actually going to live out of it or if you're just going to uh, throw a few extra boxes on the ground. I wouldn't suggest living out of trap base because chances are good you're going to be raided soon after trapping a few people. Okay, so this is the basics of the trap base. Now, put in the actual part that traps you. There we go. So we're going to want these doors to open inwards. That way, as soon as, uh, as soon as it can, the shotgun traps will see someone out there and they'll go off. So when you're first starting, you can actually just use the one shotgun trap in the middle. And it should be enough to take out most people. Here, I would just put some storage. And some extra storage over here. This will basically be your 
loot room for everything that you take off people. Oh. oh, of course I put that too close. Okay. And we'll just have both these doors opening inward. Just a little extra protection later on in case you have to fight so no one can squeeze through there. Okay, so now it's a fully functioning trap base already. And I'll just show you. Um, turn off God mode. Clear the off list. Oh, actually, I better turn God mode on, sorry. Okay. So when you come in, you're going to have this door. You'll be fighting outside of here normally. Uh, let them kill you. And then they come in, they see these doors are unlocked. So they open these. And that's it. Very simple fast, effective trap base. And I tried it out on a couple of different servers and had really good results from it. Now to reset it, just put your twig back, put this back, up to stone, and you're all reset and ready to go again. Now, I would suggest more shotgun traps. Just so if anyone that's more heavily ar or heavily uh, armored comes in, it'll be able to take them down quite quickly. And now I'll show you the part of the automatic closing. First of all, unlock the door. We're going to put the door opener on this side, so when the door opens, no one can see it. And now that it's unlocked, we can pair it to the door. in a moment. Go up top. And we want this facing north. This doesn't take a lot of power, so we're just uh, going to use one solar panel and one small battery. Ah, almost forgot the electric branch. Oh. So, from the solar panel, electric output, Start charging the battery. Now, from the battery, 
we're going to go from the output over to the first blocker. Now you can use uh, many different things. You could use the electric branch, you could use the uh, root combiners, whatever you'd like. I just use the blockers because they they were the first thing that were at hand, I guess. So from the power out on the first blocker, we're going to go into the power in onto the one on twig. Then from the power out from the one on twig, we're going to go into the power in on the second blocker. Then power out here. We'll be connected to the door. And of course, there's many ways that you could hide that much better than I just did. Okay, so that would be the simple self-sealing portion of the base. So once again, let me just go over. I'll clear the authorized list. Come inside. Doors there. Once I open it, as you can see, Sorry, as you can see, the door closed tightly behind me. Now, the reason that happens is because there's no longer power going directly into the door, it stops at the first blocker. So, to rearm it now. anywhere. The power in comes from the bottom. Power out goes into the top. There. Fully reset. Ready to go again. Now, if we'd like to told when this happens, we can use a smart alarm which we can wire in quite easily. So to do that we're going to need a, oh, sorry, an electric branch. Just put that there and we'll unhook this power. So power output into here, power out. Over to this blocker. Then we'll need a second blocker. And we're gonna take the power out. We'll just configure that as three. Okay, so we'll go from the branch out over to the blocker and from the blocker down to the smart alarm. Now, as you can see, there is power going through. And so the smart alarm is actually triggered now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the pass through. of the door opener. To block the power that's going in to the smart alarm. So as long as the power is continuing to go through and keeping the door open, 
it will also keep the smart alarm from going off. Once that circuit is broken, then the smart alarm sends the signal. Okay, so I think that's, uh, that's about it. I hope someone finds this uh, useful and uh, leave a comment down below if uh, you can find any other fun uses for it. Great, thank you. Oh, I think I got my first victims. Shot up already? Yep, got him. Yeah, we got two of them. So two dumb bastards. Yep. Oh, wow. Don't tell me they're loaded. Well. Loaded enough that uh, I won't have to farm for a while. Think I got someone? Think? You can turn that stream on so we can watch. <laughs> I'm going to see if he goes in. Got him. <laughs> somebody, did you trap somebody? Yeah, oh, yeah. Actually, here in that here. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Hey. Nice little prim start kit. Yeah, look, he's ready for PvP. He had band aids up and everything. Oh, yeah. That was him laughing. <laughs> 